For any of you that use a magnifying glass or a magnifying mirror and drive yourselves insane, looking up close in that mirror and like um, picking out every single imperfection of your skin. Let's just pause for a moment for being alive and the live skin cells. So the most important thing that I continue to preach is that our skin is the largest organ that we own. It is a living, breathing organ. It is always ebbing and flowing and changing within, with the environment, with, um, by environment, I mean what's on the outside, whether it's whether it's the water, it's the altitude, it's the food, um, as well as the inside, whether you're exercising, what you're eating, what you're drinking, your mood. On the inside, you've got your hormones. Um, are you perimenopausal, menopausal? Um, are you a preteen? Are you a teenager? Are you uh, having, you know, female issues with different things? Like there are so many things that go into why your skin does different things at different times and it freaks you out, but it is a part of the process of having a live organ um, that's doing what it does. So what I wanted to come and talk about was the difference between blackheads and sebaceous filaments because I hear it from clients a lot. I've got some new skincare clients coming in today. It's already on the intake form. They're complaining about their blackheads. Sometimes it is actually blackheads and sometimes it's not, but blackheads are a form of acne, but they're very, they're very, it's very normal to have them and you can just extract them. It's really important to have them professionally extracted because you can um, bust blood vessels, cause bruising, uh, make a situation even worse if you don't know what you're doing. But here's the basic thing to think about when you're looking at, especially your nose and the T-zone, the forehead, the chin, and the cheeks right here, and the nose, sometimes when you think you're looking at blackheads, sometimes they are, and sometimes they're sebaceous filaments. The difference to the untrained eye, I'm gonna to try to explain this to you. A blackhead is going to, to be darker and you can probably even sometimes compare and see a sebaceous filament right next to a blackhead because the blackhead is gonna be the, the darker uh, looking, um, oh God, what do I wanna call it? The darker, I don't wanna call it a bump, but it's gonna be the darker pore. That's what it is. It's gonna be the darker pore that looks like, that typically is a little raised. And if you were to squeeze, something ooky would come out, right? Sebaceous filaments are typically going to be flesh tone. And uh, a lot of times when I'm looking at them, I will notice that it'll be a slightly darker, it'll be a slightly darker ring than the natural skin tone of the client around it but you can just look at it and tell there's really nothing to squeeze and push out of there. And it's not black, it's not a white head, it's not white like there's sebum or pus or you know something like that that's gonna pop out of it. Those are sebaceous filaments. Those are very natural. Sub sebaceous filaments are um, our oil glands. So we, there's, you, need, you need your body to produce oil, okay? Sebaceous. The word sebaceous comes from sebum. Sebum is oil that our body makes. Sebum on, on our scalps, if you, have an oil, if you have an oily scalp, that means you have uh, possibly an over, overactive sebaceous glands, sebum, that are making a lot of sebum. If your scalp is dry, it could be for outside reasons also. It could be for a lot of different reasons, but it could be because your glands are not producing a lot of oil. Same for your body. Someone whose skin is particularly dry versus someone whose skin is oily. It's just a matter of what your body is producing. But what you don't want to do is cause damage to your skin by trying to extract sebaceous filaments when they don't need to be. Now, our philosophy here at Bellabar is to pretty much not mess with them. Um, we extract blackheads all day long, but I don't really mess with, and I'm teaching Kyler not to mess with the sebaceous filaments. It's, it's the philosophy that Bellabar goes by. You could go to another esthetician or, or come from one who's just extracting everything they see, and that's their philosophy. I'm not getting into that about a uh, judging anyone else, any other professionals and how they do things. But just know that um, here at Bellabar, I'm not gonna mess with them too much. Well, because it's a natural, 
process of the skin and, and your body is making them to protect your skin. And oilier skin is actually skin that um, has a tendency to age slower than dry skin. You know, where you've got fine lines and your skin isn't plump and it's dry accompanied with dehydrated, although oily skin can be dehydrated too. I'm not trying, I don't want to get in the weeds too much. But, and you can tell I'm excited about this because the main thing is that I want you to know is don't go pressing and pushing in a lot and trying to um, extract something that doesn't need to be extracted and causing more damage or expecting us to do so. Uh, I am, of course, typically coming with the topics that I come with because I start hearing it a lot or I have a client come in who's complaining about something and I pop on the magnifying glass and I don't see what they're, what they're talking about. And the latest one last week was a client who thought she had blackheads all over the place and she didn't. It's just her sebaceous glands on her nose. So it's just a matter of knowing what it is that you're looking at and knowing what you need to do about it or not do about it. Good morning what it is you need to do or not do about it but don't don't just go in and start pressing all over your face or expecting us to extract sebaceous filaments okay there is a difference so the post right before this one i actually posted a couple pictures to show you the difference between blackheads and sebaceous glands um and i bet some of you are going to have a aha moment oh my god i thought these were blackheads and they're not um and if they, it, oh, 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 I know something else I want to tell you about. Those strips, those strips, eh, don't worry with those strips. You could be causing more damage than good with those. If anybody even still uses them, you know, strips that you put on your nose and try to pull out like the commercials and it doesn't really happen like that. A lot of times it could be because it's sebaceous filaments. They weren't even blackheads that you were trying to get off. And you're like, those strips didn't even work. That's because you didn't have blackheads probably okay um so i think i'm gonna stay on this topic this week i'll see when i come across clients that give me permission to take pictures of sebaceous filaments versus blackheads oh it's already thursday oh i've got a few skincare clients left i got two days i will ask for permission to take pictures of their noses and their cheeks and their chins and show you guys more examples of the difference between blackheads and sebaceous glands i went through my archives trying to find some of my old uh extraction videos I've deleted them, you guys, unless I can find them on Facebook somewhere. I don't have them. So I'll have to start all over with new content to be able to show you guys the difference. Okay? So